Aspiring Entrepreneurs, Mary Grace here. Another wonderful day is up as we will witness the potential of earning through a fungus that can easily be grown and harvested, mushrooms. yung kumain ng chicharon pero natatakot sa maaring idulot ito sa inyong kalusugan? Ay nako, worry no more because our featured entrepreneur introduces a guilt-free chicharon. Yes, you heard it right! A healthier alternative to the traditional pork chicharon is now available for your crackling pleasure, the mushroom chicharon. And right now, I'm here at Jolly's Mushroom Farm located in Indang Cavite at alamin nga natin ang kwento sa likod ng kanilang negosyo. Miss Jasmine Alano Liz, how to be you po? And right now we're here at Jolly's Farms, but unfortunately the owner or CEO, Miss Jenny Alano Liz, won't be able to join us. But don't worry because her daughter is here with us. Hi, Miss Jasmine Alano Liz. Hi, Miss Mary Grace. How are you today? We're so great and thank you so much for welcoming us in your farm. Well, my first question, can you give us a little background about your business? Our business is based on mushroom farming mm -hmm. and our main product is J.A. Lee's Mushroom Chicharon. So we started out as our own family business and family run farm. We started first as a farm that produced fresh produce such as lettuce, mm -hmm. um, vegetables such as eggplants and chilies and there we ventured into fresh oyster mushrooms. There my family saw potential in growing mushrooms here in Indang Cavite as the climate is perfect for growing mushrooms mm. and from then on the CEO, our Miss Jeannie Alanu Lees, she loved to cook and that's where our main product came up from, the J.A. Lees Farms Mushroom Chicharon. Alam niyo ba na ang pinakamahal na mushroom ay tinatawag na European white truffle at 3,600 US dollars per pound. What motivated you guys to really went into a business like this since uh, it's something unique and different? Yes. So my family moved back from Hong Kong mm -hmm. around three to four years ago. And this is where my mom or our family got into the business. They saw an opportunity in the healthy snack industry here in the Philippines. They also saw an opportunity as the Philippines has some unique products that people bring abroad, such as dried mangoes yes. and pork chicharron itself. Mm -hmm. So we thought we'd tap into both markets, into the health products and the local products itself. And so after creating several ingredients and um, recipes, after a long while, the mushroom chicharron came about. It was inspired first, we made other products such as mushroom nuggets, mushroom patties. Wow. However, we thought that the mushroom chicharron was more unique out of all of these mm -hmm. and that it would be a more unique product for locals to try nationwide and also in the future to export as a product of the Philippines. Wow, so when did you start the business? This business started in April 2015. So we started out as our own farm, as I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. And this is where fresh produce was made. Then it transitioned into harvesting fresh oyster mushrooms. That is the specific mushroom that we use here and also in our product. So do you harvest your own mushrooms here in your farm? We used to harvest our own mushrooms mm -hmm. here. We had several mushroom houses and in those there were several rows of fruiting bags. This is where the mushrooms grow. And it was great here in Indang because um, the climate was cool and it's humid, which is what is perfect for mushroom growing. So they prefer humid weather instead of like dry season? Yes, yes. So in the summertime, it's a bit harder to grow oyster okay. mushrooms because oyster mushrooms are water-based. A lot of it's made up of water and okay. that's why it requires this temperature here. As we started growing, we became more focused on the manufacturing part. Mm -hmm. So we transitioned into having local farmers here in Cavite and all around Cavite actually, to help us in growing organic oyster mushrooms. And they alone supply to us to help us with our business. Wow, so basically all the suppliers or your suppliers 
are all local farmers. Yes. Support local, right? Support local. All the ingredients from the raw materials to the seasonings, it's all local. Ang pinakamalaking producer ng edible mushroom ay ang bansang China. They produce about half of all the cultivated mushrooms. Okay, um, what sets Jali's or J.A. Lee's mushroom apart from other brands that also produces mushroom chicharon? J.A. Lee's or Jali's Farms mushroom chicharon is unique in its own self as we try to cater in our different flavors, mm -hmm. our premium products or ingredients that we use in the recipe itself. So we use premium seasonings um, and healthy ingredients. So that ranges from coconut oil. Mm -hmm. And we also have a method that helps it to become just crispy as it is. And we are unique because we are trying to expand towards becoming the product of the Philippines or one of them. So this will become or go towards exporting. Eventually. Well, for sure, you will be very successful with the great product. Okay, let's talk about the product. What are the variants that you have? So we have six flavors. Mm -hmm. um, actually, over time, we started out with three. It was the original, original. the chili, and the garlic. Okay. So those were our original three. And over time, we tried out new flavors and we ended up with the original chili garlic, there's hickory barbecue, peri-peri, and beef tapa. So wow. we have two sizes available. It's the 100 gram and the 200 gram packs. Wow, I should try all of these later on. Yes. But if the people would want to buy this, where do you sell? Is it around Cavite area only? No, we are available nationwide mm -hmm. and also through online. So we are available in several department stores, um, health stores that people can check out uh, personally on our Facebook or our website. There we list and help actually our resellers promote their own businesses mm -hmm. that also carry our products. So people can find it there. There's also in the airport, Pasalubong stores and health stores as wow, well. Wow, there are many ways that people can get to try yes. J.A. Lee's. Okay, let's go through the process. Usually, in a month, how many packs do you produce or how much mushroom do you harvest? Per month, um, we can go up to 700 kilograms of harvested mushrooms. Mm -hmm. That's mostly in the peak seasons. Um, it also ranges depending on our orders as well, but it can, okay. per pack, we can go to 15,000 to 20,000 packs a month. Wow, that's a big amount. Yes, yes. And considering that's only roughly three years, so yes. we're in just the early stage of the business. How about the manpower requirements? For example, our televiewers would want to explore into a business like this. Do you need a lot of manpower or do you do this yourselves, guys? We are very hands-on, mm -hmm. the family itself, we're very hands-on in the business. So we actually help out and in apart from the family members, we have around eight to nine also people that help us in the production and the other admin work. So in all in all, we are about um, 12 to 15 people in, within the company. Wow, 12 to 15 people behind such a, you know, uprising brand yes. or product. Ang mushrooms o kabute ay ginagamit sa iba't ibang mga cuisines sa ang mga sulok ng mundo. And it is known to be the meat of the vegetable world. Alright, so for instance, our televiewers would also want to venture into a business like this. When you're starting, what is the space requirements? We started out actually in our home kitchen. That's mm -hmm. where the mushroom or the original mushroom chitron started and using the fresh mushrooms that we had on our farm. So it started there with the process of making the product, but then we ventured into moving the process to the farm itself. Mm -hmm. So we became, we built our own processing area, which is a little processing building that could accommodate just uh, fryers and the baking uh, equipment that we needed, as well as a small storeroom. So just basically a place that you can do all of this in one with smooth flow. Are these handmade or you have to have uh, specific equipment or materials to really produce mushroom chicharron? Um, you just, we are starting out as handmade. Um, we just use basic kitchen equipment. Uh, more of our advanced equipment would be our baking equipment. So that could help make it crispy. 
and mm -hmm. with others, um, it's just mostly handmade. So it's made with the love of our Aww. personnel. And you guys, of course, a passion when it comes to cooking and producing such a great product. Okay, I just want to go back to the mushrooms. So are there different types of mushroom and how do we determine the best time to harvest this? Yes. In this world, we have loads of different mushrooms. Ooh, <laughs> thousands? <laughs> um, probably hundreds of different species of mushrooms. But the one we specifically use for mm -hmm. our mushroom chitron is oyster mushrooms, the white oyster ones. Oyster mushrooms. Because there's also gray ones. So we use white oyster mushrooms and mm -hmm. the best time to harvest these would be um, we usually measure them by size because there is a certain requirement that we have okay. for the size of our mushroom chicharron. Um, they come, they sprout like flowers. They look like flowers when they sprout. So as they get to the size they need, this is when it's harvested. And the turnover can be very... Um, quick or it can slow down depending on the season. So as I mentioned before, the summer season is when it kind of yes. slows down as uh -huh. the heat can get to them. It's a very careful process as well. And you also have to be careful of things like pesticides or... Okay, meron din pala. Yeah. Oh, oh. And also sometimes the mushrooms can be not infected, but mm -hmm. there could be something that could infect the whole mushroom inventory so, by batch yeah by batch so you have to be really mindful of it okay let's talk about the business season naman meron bang season na mas peak maraming orders or are there seasons na medyo lean um the best season for us would be the burr months people are going back home mm -hmm. bringing it as pasalubong or also giving it as gifts um it's we're going into the health trend now in the Philippines and so this is where people buy more, they have more time to um, go out and spend more time with family and share these products. So um, more of the burr months and also the early months to after Christmas and New Year. And any more challenges no, no. Encounter nyo, lalo na when you guys are starting, even up till now that we're already three years in the business, what are the challenges and how you should overcome? The some of the challenges that we have um, deal with mostly the business side of okay. um, starting it up. So you need a lot of time and commitment into finding the right suppliers and mm -hmm. the right ingredients and to make sure that your product is consistent for your customers. And also the growing part of the fresh oyster mushrooms, that can be a bit of a challenge because of the weather and the okay. changes in weather here in the Philippines are unpredictable. So to overcome this, you just have to really try to monitor your business mm -hmm. or your growth as much as possible and predict that before it happens and prepare yourself. You have to think ahead. Yes, you have to think oh. ahead and try to uh, plan ahead so that you may have the inventory that you need or the fresh oyster mushrooms that you need for your stock. Okay, talking about plans, do you have plans in the future to produce ibang products na mushroom related? Pa din? Yes, um, we would like to venture into more of um, cooked products. So we've been trying to do mushroom patties. Wow, I would love to try that. <laughs> yes. Napaka healthy naman. It is. Oh. And the thing about mushrooms or oyster mushrooms specifically mm -hmm. is that it tastes just like meat. The texture okay. and the flavor itself can absorb. And so it is a really good alternative to meat. To pork, beef yes. and chicken. Mushrooms are fungus. At di tulad ng mga halaman, di nila kailangan ng sinag ng araw to produce their energy. Earlier, you have mentioned about exporting. What are your future plans? Not only to the product line, but to the business as a whole. We are actually in the process right now of mm -hmm. trying to export our products. Uh, we have been able to send our products abroad to places mm -hmm. like the US, um, to the Middle East, um, in Australia, and also here around Asia, we've tried as well. However, it's not officially our exporting okay. side of our business. Mm -hmm. So right now we're venturing into exporting to the US. So we have um, an expo in Canada at the moment. Wow. Yes, and we've also- So Miss Jeannie's there. Yeah, she's there at the moment. So 
she will be advertising and marketing to the Canadian population and they are getting really good feedback at the moment. So. Congratulations Thank for that. You. Thank you. Also, I want to know, how do you improve? Because earlier you have mentioned DTI or something. Like, yes. if they're having a hard time to really go into the business, saan sila pwedeng humingi ng tulong like you guys did? I would highly recommend um, contacting people or um, government sectors here in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. They are willing to help. So we've wow. actually had customers ask, how can they start growing mushrooms? And we refer them to the Department of Agriculture. Okay. They can help in you starting up or recommending places for you to start up your business in agriculture especially mm -hmm. and also the DTI recently have approached us in helping us produce or develop our products so as you can see our new packaging now this oh, just started in February this year Feb it's very new huh yes it's very new they designed it for us mm -hmm. and it is very it has like an export quality with the matte printing. I totally agree. They give a lot of help and advice to us. And the design is very sleek and it's good for exporting. Well, how about the shelf life? Pala? Hindi natin mention kanina. Uh, the shelf life is at the moment six mm -hmm. months. However, okay. we are in the process of trying to develop a longer shelf life for our products so that it can last longer for customers, of course. It's always good to eat fresh produce. So actually, our produce is made fresh per order. Mm. If a client or a customer orders from us, then we make it fresh for them. If you can try the original with um, okay. vinegar or suka. <laughs> suka, yes! Yeah, suka. <laughs> so that would be great with the vinegar. It's just like pork chicharron except healthier. And we can also, um, it's great if you put it in the oven for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. It makes it crispier. And it's great as a salad topping as um, you can put it on top of your pastas or palabok instead of pork wow. chitron, you oh, use mushroom oh. chitron. There's also, we've tried Vietnamese fresh spring roll. Oh, nakakagutom naman yun. <laughs> Alam nyo ba, mushrooms are closely related in DNA sa mga tao kaysa sa mga halaman. And Jasmine, you have a very beautiful big place. And nakakatuwa, no? Kasi parang it's really away from the city life. It's a breath of fresh air. How do you maintain it? Do you do this full time or part time? Well, all of our employees and our managers were all full time. So we have family members that stay here and run the farm. Mm -hmm. And we also have in the city as well. So that's where we communicate with each other. And they watch over all the production and the manufacturing and all the supplies that come in. It's really nice that you guys work hand in hand. Can you share us? Balikan ko lang you. Uh, the things or what keeps you guys busy even before when you started the business? What do you guys do? Yes. So we've had this farm ever since. Um, mm -hmm. It was in our family. However, my family specifically, we were abroad before this. So we were in Hong Kong and my family was in finance before this. And when they moved back, that's where they started this business. So we had no background at all in food manufacturing or growing. So it was a learning process for us as well. And it all starts with your passion, really. Mm -hmm. And that's where something can grow into something better or bigger than you actually thought it would be. I specifically was in hospitality or studied hospitality. It's management. a way a little bit different. Yes, yeah. it deals with food sometimes, but it's not quite food manufacturing. So mm -hmm. um, I just got into this. I was working part time at the time, student. I was studying and also helping my family out. And from there, I had I grew the passion to work for our family business. So I'm very glad and proud of us. Wow. That's really very heartwarming you know, to hear it from you guys. Like especially you're not pure Filipino but you're staying here in the country and you're providing jobs to yes. your to the people here. And your difference in life you know, when you started back in 2015 and now after 3 years and the business is doing well. Um, we see more growth in our business mm -hmm. and this not only happens with the business side but with also helping the local uh, mm. people of Cavite and also outside as we also go into bazaars we need salespeople for that and it really just starts with a team so having a team and treating them as a family that's where it all starts so it really you create this bond with the people mm -hmm. that you work with and they're you establish the trust that you need. And so life from then 
uh, it was just our own family to now we have a team. Um, we just get to know people and the um, surrounding lifestyle of other people and just we adapt to each other and learn from each other. It's a bigger family and you're making a difference to your lives as yes. well. Yung puhunan, when you started, around, can you give us a ballpark figure? Around um, how much do you need? Yes, yeah, so just the production side of it, starting in your own kitchen, you just need the capital maybe uh, more or less 5,000 pesos oh. to produce this product in your own kitchen. But um, venturing forward when you start in bazaars, that they also have rental costs. So that okay, can yes. range, depending on your location, it can range from 3,000 up till 10,000. And okay. that's, it's a good investment to make because that's where you can market your products. So, if you're there, you're there, you're there yes. to the market that you really want to go for. It's, it's like a niche market, right? Yung you target. Nyo. Yes, uh, we mostly target um, more of the health products or the health junkies. Um, we also have the elderly as well as children who also love the snack. So anyone who wants to go into healthy eating really could um, invest or buy our products. And from there, we also, like bazaars, also give us a chance to market to people who are potential customers or clients that are willing to resell for us. So we also establish relationships with our resellers and our partners. So. Uh, we help each other. It's a big community here in the Philippines. Well, I'm looking forward to 5, 10, 15 more years mm -hmm. after. So for sure, this will be way bigger after how many years? So um, do you have any tips to everyone out there that would want to venture in a business like this one? To start your own business or to venture into something that you would like to do as a business, I recommend starting with your passion. I read in a book recently that this is where people start, their passion becomes what they love. But you also have to keep in mind that it's not what you want, but you also have to think of what the customer would want based on your own products or passion that you give as a good or service. So um, with a bit of passion and teamwork and also just a lot of time and commitment, you can start your own business even just from the smallest resources that you have. So Jasmine, take this chance to invite everyone to get in touch with Jolly's Farms. Yes, thank you so much. Um, you may get in touch with us at our Facebook and Instagram account, J.A. Lee's Farms, and also on our website, www.jaleesfarmsph.com. Make sure to check us out. We have updates there and where you can message us any time of day. All right, there you go. Thank you so thank much, Jasmine. Thank you so much. It was, it was a easy. wonderful day to be with you here at your farm. Thank yes. you. Thank you for coming and visiting us. It was a pleasure having you here. Venturing into the healthy food industry is definitely a good decision. At tulad ng Jolly's Farms, they were able to use and maximize their resources to come up with a new profitable business. Once again, this is your host Mary Grace and you're watching How to Be Your Pot, the Entrepreneur Stories. <laughs>